Hello everybody, it's Suzanne here from Kids Team. How are you all today? Have you had a good day? It's been raining, but um, so we've been out without our umbrellas and we did get very, very wet. Um, and then it's been sunny, so it's been kind of a mixture of a day. Have you had a good day? Let me know what you've all been up to. So tonight's story is going to be Baby Brains. <gasps> Have any of you ever listened to this book? It's a really, really good one. I remember listening to it when I was really little and actually when I was at college, which was a very, very long time ago now, like 17 years ago, um, I loved this book and we used to read it to the children. Hello Tracy, hello Vic. Hello everybody that's online, I can see a couple of you. <laughs> How are you all? Have you had a nice day? Hello Elijah. Elijah, do you like this book? Baby brains. You're very brainy, aren't you? I bet you do. Elijah, tell me what you've been doing. I want to know what you've been up to. Do you miss us? Do you miss us in kids team? With Do you miss kids team, kids club? Do you miss the soft play? Do you miss the sports? I bet you do, you always have so much fun. We have fun with you as well, you're so funny. So from next week, I thought I'd let you know that we are going to do one younger category story at half past six, and then at seven o'clock, I'm going to do an older category book, okay? Will that be good? Hello. That's my nan, hello nana. <laughs> She lives in Spain, all the way in Spain. Right then, I will begin if you're all ready. He said, I've been at nursery. Oh, of course, you miss soft play. Do you enjoy, have you been enjoying it at nursery? I hope so. <laughs> right then, I am going to begin. In the months before Baby Brains was born, Mrs. Brains was very busy. You see, that's Baby Brains in Mrs. Brains' tummy. Can you see? She's got quite a large tummy, but that's because there's a big baby in there. She read out loud every night to the baby inside her tummy. Because actually, the babies can hear you inside. I'm sure when I had Archie um, inside my tummy, he could hear all the children in, because I used to work in a nursery, so I think he's used to a lot of noise. Probably why he's so chatty and noisy now, who knows? Ah, oh, miss you, Elijah. Anyway, she read out loud every night to the baby inside her tummy. She played music and languages on headphones, wow, to her baby during the day. Mr. and Mrs. Brains wanted to make sure that their baby was going to be very clever. So before Miss Baby Brains was even born, she was teaching him things through her tummy. They even turned up the television when the news came on. Wow. Mr. and Mrs. Brains were very excited when their baby was born. It was a boy, our very own Baby Brains, said Mr. Brains proudly. When they brought him home from the hospital, Mrs. Brains laid him down in the brand new cot. Sleep tight, baby Brains, she whispered. The next morning, Mrs. Brains was on her way to get breakfast when she heard some strange noises in the living room. <gasps> what do you think it could be? What? Can you see the baby on the sofa with a newspaper? Tell me, have you ever seen a baby read a newspaper? I definitely haven't. Mrs. Brains opened the door to see her baby sitting on the sofa, reading the morning paper. He's a genius, isn't he? By the afternoon, Baby Brains was helping mend the car. We've certainly got a bright one here, said Mr. Brains. Look, he could be a baby mechanic. Tell me you've never ever seen that because I definitely haven't. I'm just bewildered right now. That evening, Baby Brains spoke his first words. He's just been born. 
I'd like to go to school tomorrow, he said. This is just crazy. The next day, Baby Brains visited the local school. He sat down with the children and answered all the questions. The children were amazed. Can you imagine that? So in a school class, can you imagine lots of four-year-olds and then a baby that knew all the questions? Crazy. At the end of the afternoon, the teacher thanked Baby Brains. I don't think I've ever learnt so much in one day, she said. On the way home, Baby Brains said he wanted to go to university and study medicine. <gasps> wow, it's crazy. After just two weeks, Baby Brains began working as a doctor at the local hospital. He was, a very, he was very popular with all the staff and patients. Now tell me, have you ever seen a baby doctor? That's absolutely crazy. Word soon spread about the extraordinary Baby Brains. Everyone wanted to meet him. One night, some space scientists phoned. They asked if Baby Brains would like to help with their next space mission. Do you think he would? I think he'd be crazy not to, because he's so clever. The following day, Mr. and Mrs. Brains and their baby traveled out to the space center after training very hard at the weekend. Can you see what he's had to do? He has had to go on the cross trainer with an oxygen mask on because when you're in space, you don't have oxygen. So you have to have an oxygen mask. So he needed to get used to that, didn't he? Baby Brains waved goodbye to Mr. and Mrs. Brains and blasted off to outer space. Whoosh! Everyone in the world held their breath as they watched Baby Brains take his first spacewalk. Tell us how you feel on this special occasion, radio ground control. Baby Brains looked up at the vast starlit sky above him. He looked down at the vast skylit stove starlit sky below him. He looked at the whole world in front of him and mumbled something. We can't quite hear you, baby brains. Radio ground control, could you repeat that? Can you see him? I wonder what he's going to say. He's a baby. I wonder what he's going to say. Uh-oh. Bring my baby home right now! Poor baby. Sometimes babies just want cuddles, don't they? Baby Brains was flown home as quickly as possible. He felt very embarrassed as he stepped down off the hatch. But through the crowd of photographs, photogra photographers and cameramen, Mrs Brains came running. <gasps> I think he was trying to do too much as a baby, wasn't he? A oh, beautiful little baby, sighed Mrs Brains as she lifted him high into the air. A oh, brave little baby, said Mr Brains. Can we go home, said Baby Brains. At home, Mrs Brains gave Baby Brains a warm bath, which made him feel a lot better. Mr Brains tickled him which made him laugh. Can you see now he's doing things that babies are supposed to do, which I think must make him a little bit more happy. And Mrs. Brains sang baby brains to sleep. Then they gently laid him down in the brand new cot. It was good to have their baby home again. Our very own baby brains, whispered Mrs. Brains. From that day on, baby brains spent most of his time at home doing the things that babies do, except, that is, at weekends. What do you think he did at weekends? When he still liked to help out at the local hospital. So funny, isn't it? I can't believe it. Have you ever seen a baby doctor? I'm glad that he um, realised that he wanted to do what other babies do, otherwise he'll miss out on that. I mean, who wouldn't want to be fed all the time? Who wouldn't want to be tickled and cuddled all the time? I know I would not want to miss out on that baby stage. Right, did you like my story? I hope you enjoyed Baby Brains. Okay, if you've got any recommendations that you would like me to read or something you would like me to read about, let me know. 
Um, and I will see you tomorrow at half past three. We've got some art and crafts um, and then seven o'clock for a story. Okay, night, night, everybody.